The new Congress sworn in yesterday is the most diverse in U.S. history. For the first time, there are more than 100 women in the House of Representatives. The first two Native American women to serve, Deb Holland and Sharice Davids, shared an emotional hug after they were sworn in. That was on the That's floor of the House. Congress also has its first two Muslim women, Ilhan Omar of Minnesota and Rashida Tlaib of Michigan. Omar tweeted a picture with her father on Wednesday, saying they were returning to the same airport where they arrived from a refugee camp 23 years ago. Omar is also the first Somali-American elected to Congress. We visited her yesterday as she made history on Capitol Hill. All right. Guess ready? There really hasn't been um, a moment since this journey began where, um, I don't really pinch myself uh, and think, how did I get here? Is this really happening? Wa alaykum salam. Congratulations. How are you? Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. God bless you. Good luck today. Thank you. I feel extremely honored and grateful to the people of the Fifth for having faith in, in my ability to represent them. Currently in in our country, really, there is extreme negative rhetoric against Muslims, immigrants, mainly refugees. It is sort of a deliverance of an extreme counter-narrative to, to that. Um, and it says, you know, this country is, a, is still a place of hope. Things can get really exciting. <laughs> People who represent us should be a reflection and a representation of all of the communities that they represent. How's everyone? Thank you. As someone who has seen really what it means to seek asylum at a border and to, to be received with such generosity, I want to make sure that here in the United States, we understand that there are other countries who take in so many people of the world's most pained people. Um, and in the United States, we could do better. I think a lot of people, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, agree that we can do better. And I think that's what's, you know, it's supposed to be the people's house. Yes. It's supposed to be representative. And so you're not only representing your district, um, but certainly the types of people and the faces matter. And Arizona will have its first two Republican, excuse me, first female senators, one Democrat, one Republican. Um, Tennessee will have its first uh, female Republican, yep. uh, Senator Black, Marsha Blackburn. So both parties, the faces are changed. Some very exciting Country changes. of immigrants. Yep. So, so many people say what a country. Mm -hmm.